Hello and welcome to another edition of Sporty's How-To Videos. Today we are going to cover how to configure the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant with the Airbus levers and we're going to configure it for a Airbus 2 engine aircraft. So we'll begin by heading on over to the controls page and I'm going to configure our setup for lever 1 being spoilers, lever 2 is not in use, Lever 3 is going to be throttle 1, lever 4 is going to be throttle 2, lever 5 is not in use, and then lever 6 will be our flaps. So here we are, we have the Bravo throttle quadrant selected. I'm going to go ahead and start by clearing out everything that's already pre-configured, so all the lever commands. So we're going to begin with mixture. It's simple as clicking on the command and then clearing it and validating. And it will ask us after we start changes, what do we want to title this as, this new setting? And as mentioned, we're going to do an Airbus in two engine configuration. So that's what I'm going to save it as. Okay. As you can see in the top right, it is saved. And then we're just going to go ahead and continue to clear out all the lever commands, which will be mixture, propeller, and then also throttle. Uh, out of the box, the Honeycomb Bravo throttle is configured for general aviation uh, multi-engine. So the first two levers are throttle, second two levers are prop, and then the final two levers are mixture. So again, we are just clearing out all those prior commands so we can start with a blank canvas. All right, and then clearing out of the final throttle axes we're all set okay now one additional thing I want to go ahead and clear up uh, before we start uh, putting these commands in is flaps you can see flaps are set to the flap handle but because I'm going to use one of our levers as flaps I want to clear these out also you don't have to do this I just don't want to have conflicting commands at any point all right so that flap lever no longer gives any input so we're all set and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on applying some. So let's go to all the commands that are available. A quick expand and collapse should clean it up. There we go. All right. And we're going to go ahead and begin with throttle. So we are going to look for throttle one axes. And you will see some of these checked boxes from when we cleared it out. We'll show a little ghost command, uh, as I like to call them. But we'll uh, cover those as we configure these new commands to the program. So, throttle one axis chosen. Now, as we're scanning, I'm just slowly moving that throttle one lever, and it recognizes that's right axis Z. So, confirming, yep, when I'm moving the lever, it's giving different inputs. So, we look good on throttle one axis. Let's do the same for throttle two axis. So, I'm moving the lever that I'm going to use for throttle two. It recognizes that is right axis Y. We'll validate and just move it a little to confirm. Yep. All right. Both levers are working as I would prefer. So we can go ahead and close out our throttle. So let's go ahead and take care of our spoiler axes. We're going to find that in secondary control surfaces. And there's spoiler axes. Okay. So I'm going to move lever 1 as it's scanning, and it should recognize that. Okay, left axis Y. So that is my spoiler. Now something I need to do with the spoiler is confirm I have that little box checked, the reverse axis. Otherwise, uh, what happens to the program will be the opposite of what's happening on my Honeycomb Bravo. So make sure that's clicked reverse axis. You should be all set. Next, let's go ahead and take care of flaps. So we're going to find flaps, axes, minus 100 to 100%. I found this is the one that will work in the Airbus A20. Do the same scanning method. And here we are, left axes Z. Validated, and as I move it, confirmed. Again, we want to make sure that we check the reverse axes box when it comes to our flaps axes. All right, so we've got those two levers taken care of. And then the next thing we're going to do, and I should have done this earlier, is we are going to set our thrust reversers. So the way I found to do this is when you take your throttle 
uh, to throttle decrease when it's all the way in the zero setting command and then you take the reversers to that next level it decreases the throttle which in the simulator takes you in reverser mode so I'm gonna go ahead and move lever one all the way to the back I'm gonna click up the thrust reverser latch if you will I don't want the program to recognize that piece and then I'm gonna move it to that most rearward detente this little uh, dead zone after that is joystick button 26. So what that means is whenever I move the throttle back there uh, to this little detente, it's going to recognize decrease the throttle. And since it's already at the zero setting or zero thrust, it will go into negative or thrust reverser. A little confusing, but I've found that this is the easiest way to configure the Airbus A320, uh, 320 Neo for this. So throttle one decrease is done. Throttle two, let's do the same. Move it all the way to the back. Remove the thrust reverser. Then start your scan and go to joystick button 27, check. So when again, throw a lever two is in that uh, rearward detente, it'll go to decrease and take you into reverse mode. Okay, so those are taken care of. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do the final uh, command, which is gonna be our autopilot or auto throttle disconnect. So I'm gonna quickly search for throttle because uh, there are a lot of commands in autopilot. And I want this to match up to the two red buttons, uh, one on each side of these throttles. So I'm gonna start my scan, push both buttons simultaneously, joystick button 10 and 11. So that means when I push both those buttons at the same time, it will disconnect the auto throttle command for our Airbus. Similar to what's in the actual aircraft and uh, this is how I like to set it up in the simulator. Okay, so we've got auto throttle disconnect set. You could do individually whether you want button 10 or button 11. I like to do an AND command, make sure it has both of those. All right, so we've uh, gone ahead, we've cleaned everything up. We want to make sure we go ahead and apply and save. Otherwise, everything we did will be wasted. And now we can go ahead and jump in the airplane and make sure everything we just commanded or configured is how we'd like it. All right, so here we are in the Airbus A320neo. We are at Toulouse Airport, and I apologize if I mispronounce that. This is actually where the Airbus aircraft is manufactured. I thought that would be fitting. So let's go ahead and make sure the throttles and the other commands are as we would hope. I'm gonna go ahead and begin by moving throttle one. Check, okay. Let's go ahead and move throttle two. All right as I'd hoped. Let's go ahead and move reverser, okay, and then throttle two in reverser mode. There we are. So my thrust reverser slash throttle decrease are good. Let's move our spoiler. Check. Move forward and then let's do the same for our flaps. All right, those are moving as I would prefer, similar to my Honeycomb Bravo. All right, let's check it outside the airplane. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so we can see these effects. Let's go ahead and lever one for throttle. And as you can hear, engine spooling up very well. And see the changes on the indicator on the left. Same for engine two. All right, go ahead and use our spoilers. Completely extended, looks good. Let's go ahead and work with our flaps. We can see them extending on the back side of the wing and then also with the indicator on the right side of our screen. Let's test our thrust reversers. All right. And as you can see, both are working as I prefer. Indicators on the left show reverse thrust mode and we'll go back to idle. Okay, so all commands are working as I would prefer. Uh, we could go into granular details and set a lot more commands. I just wanted to start with the basics, help everyone who is enjoying this video get started and have a better experience flying the Honeycomb Bravo with the Airbus A320 throttle configuration. We hope this video helped you out and as always, have fun digitally flying.